OK, wonderful. So good morning, everyone. It's the 23rd of April, 2024. Um, we're here in the first edition, the first stand-up of uh, week zero of our first first time we're doing this program. Uh, it's the KIFIA AI Mastery Training Program, which is being put together or launched or run, you could say, by TED Academy. Um, and so the goal of this program is to create um, experts in AI who can work in the fintech sector and our focus is really to prepare people for taking up jobs, uh, AI jobs, in the fintech sector in Ethiopia. So we're very pleased to have you here with us. We've had a very strong response. Um, we've had a few, I think over 500 different applications. Each of you that's here has been through the quiz process and you've done well. And so this is the last phase of the application process um, and it'll be a three day long assessment. Uh, it'll be a simulation of the training approach that we'll be taking uh, over the 12 weeks. And so what we're going to be doing over the next three days is um, assessment through learning. And so you'll be provided just after the stand-up with a challenge document, which will walk you through um, a piece of analysis that we're asking you to do. And in about an hour and a half, uh, actually an hour and a half after, the tr after this session finishes, you have that time to read through the challenge document to uh, ask questions in the week zero channel and sort of get yourself used to uh, our different uh, training method. And then um, Yavabel will be walking us through or we will be walking you through the, uh, the challenge. So I have a couple of announcements and I think it'll take a little bit of time for everyone to get used to the way that um, the training, we operate our training. The first uh, thing that I wanted to cover was the schedule. So this morning, and I'm going to be presenting this just give me a second here so I can show what the schedule looks like so everyone has a clear view of that. We're using uh, a tool called Notion to do our scheduling. I would like you to ignore the times here because the times are showing in my time zone, uh, which is one hour behind Ethiopian time. So every morning we're going to be having a stand up at 10 o'clock um, East African time. Um, that's the daily stand up for the first, uh, the three days of assessment. Um, at noon, so at 12 o'clock, uh, East African time, and I, I believe that there may be some confusion between East African time and Ethiopian time. We'll be using East African time for the duration. Um, we'll be having an introduction to the challenge, and that'll be happening at 12 o'clock East African time. We then have a break session, and then our first tutorial will be taking place this afternoon at 2.30 p.m. East African time. And then you have time uh, later on for different pieces of the challenge. I believe, and I think we'll be updating you uh, by Slack, that there'll be a submission every day. And uh, you'll be using a platform called 10x, and the link will be, you have all been added, the link will be shared, um, and you'll be submitting and getting your feedback via the 10x platform. So the running order for today <clears throat> is that we have our morning stand-up just now. In an hour and a half or at 12 o'clock, you'll have your introduction to the challenge, uh, and then today at 2.30 p.m., we're gonna be having a uh, our first tutorial for the day. We will be, we are recording, and we will be uploading the videos. We ask for your patience, as it will take us a little bit of time, on average, about three hours to upload the video. Part of that time is just the amount of time that it takes uh, the resource uh, Google to share, to process and uh, upload those videos, and part of it is just uh, our team capacity. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, for us to do that. In terms of other announcements, um, you've all been added to the Slack, and Slack is our uh, major mode of interaction and communication. So if you haven't joined the, uh, the KIFIA AIM Week Zero Slack, you need to do that right now. Um, we would ask that you, if you have any questions, then ask them in the Week Zero channel, and we, you will find that members of the community or uh, the tutoring team will be coming back to you and answering your questions um, quickly, uh, especially during core working hours, you'll find the answers will be coming back quickly. Our goal is five minutes or less. And in the evenings, then uh, we'll be depending on the community to actually do that. So use the channels correctly. Um, we'll be using the Week Zero channel, as I mentioned, for this week. Um, if you have questions uh, around Nana, which is our chatbot and support agent, then you can use Nana support. If you have a problem with the 10X, then you can use the 10X uh, support channel as well. If you haven't been added to one of the channels, then you can always just ask a question. The team is available 
and um, we're there to support any questions that you have. Um, in terms of other announcements, uh, just to get my list here. Um, so we have the Week Zero channel on Slack. Um, that's the major place that we'll be interacting with this week. Please don't post in the broadcast channel. That's something for the team, and we don't want to have confusion on the broadcast channel. Um, and the submission is going to be happening uh, every day, and that'll be via the 10x platform. That's also where you will be getting your um, your feedback. So I think there may be a couple of questions, or I guess everyone's wondering, why are you here or how to be successful? Um, what we're looking for, we have 75 people on the call right now. Um, we're aiming to admit as many people as possible. We would ideally like to admit every single person who's here. Now, based on our experience, and we've been training for quite some years, the single most uh, common reason why people don't get admitted to the program or why they don't graduate from the program, it's, it's a very simple reason. Um, and the reason is that people just don't complete the assignments. So it's not about doing it perfectly. It's not about um, being a master programmer. But it's simply a matter of um, taking the assignment that's there, breaking it down, asking questions, and making sure that you submit every single day. And based on the quiz results that we've seen from the group, we believe that uh, if we have enough people submitting assignments, we'll be able to admit almost everyone here in the group for the training that will be starting on Monday. So I'm going to recap the announcements at the end. But what I would love to hear, uh, I want to get a couple of reflections from different members of uh, the trainees who are here. I actually forgot to introduce myself, so I'm going to do that. My name is Arun Sharma. I'm one of the co-founders of uh, 10 Academy, which is implementing the training on behalf of Kifia. Um, and yeah, my the, the work that I do with 10 Academy is focused on careers and operations. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. So I'd like to get a, a couple of people uh, just to, and what I'd like to hear from you is what you hope to get out of uh, the training program. And um, so let's first get reflections, and then we'll have time for questions. But just five people, you can use the put your hand up function. And we'd just like to hear from you what you're looking forward to getting out of the training program. Can we get five people? If people aren't able to speak, then we're also happy to get um, people using the chat box. And you can also just answer the question, what are you hoping to get uh, out of the training program? I hope that my accent is neutral enough and everyone's able to understand me clearly. So can we get five people to answer the question, what do you hope to get out of the training program? Hey, Ab, go ahead. Yes, am I audible? We can hear you well, yeah. Yeah, OK, good morning, everyone. Um... My name is Yo. So personally, what I hope to gain from this program is that uh, currently there are like other programs that also like give different types of programs. But personally, me, uh, what I'm looking forward from this program is to be equipped with the technical capabilities to have uh, deployment or internship or any possibilities with the skills that I'm going to have from this program. So because like. Even though people take different type of courses, it, it's very hard to have the real life uh, experience and uh, capability to actually be deployed in a project, be, be part of in a project. So to basically have that skill set, because and also like the governance and the communication between coworkers in the same type of field. Also at the same time to have uh community build up and connections not just in here on linkedin and also like another job uh, opportunities so that's my expectation um, thank you yeah no i think that's that's exactly what we're aiming to provide thank you for that um comprehensive yet concise summary of what you're aiming to get and i think you're in the right place and i'm happy to see the alignment between what you're hoping for and what we're aiming to provide thanks thanks for that um, let's go to uh, DJ Jazz and Days, please. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, and good morning, is, is everyone. That, is uh, that your uh, real name? No, my name is Bas. Bas uh, Ah, Bas okay. Yes. No, no, uh, it's okay. We, okay. Maybe you can uh, play music tomorrow then. 
Oh, uh, ja- jazz, jazz music, yeah, okay. <laughs> jazz um, with bass, yep. Yes. Um, uh, what I expect from uh, this program is uh, I've I've heard about 10x and how uh, the courses at 10x are uh, in context with the current uh, job market, with the current uh, tech and career market. So uh, I expect to get uh, a course that is aligned with the current trends of AI and data science and technical stuff, you know. So that's what I expect from 10x. Thank you. Okay, and I have a question back to you, Basil. What What are you going to do with What do you want to do with the knowledge? And sorry for the background noise. It's just a. Um, I uh, I'm expecting to uh, I expect to get uh, probably a remote job or uh, be a real contributor to AI in Ethiopia. Uh, uh, the The course is about fintech, and I'm also interested in fintech. Uh, but more of I would like to contribute to AI engineering and machine learning and data science in Ethiopia because I I really don't see that uh, path in Ethiopia. So that's what I expect. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let's put a beza with, please. Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yeah, we can hear you well. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity first. Uh, so, since uh, this kind of pl- uh, this kind of platform is uh, this is my first time in, so I would like to explore more on data science and AI uh, tools uh, in in hands-on projects. Because since I'm a data science student, so I want to explore more on this technical uh, projects. So I hope I will get more uh, knowledge and uh, projects based on related with the data science and machine learning and AI related things. So thank you for giving me this opportunity. No, thank you for being here. And I think we have to acknowledge uh, the kind of donor support and the organizations behind it uh, who have made this possible. So we have, but. More than anything, we appreciate uh, the group that's here that's interested in taking part. Can we get two more people, please? Two more people who are willing to put their hands up, and uh, we see the answers in the chat box. Uh, Tariqwa says, hands-on experience to help strengthen his data science journey or her data science journey, uh, deep understanding of AI and fintech from Matiwos, good understanding of AI applications from CISE. Hirobel says, I hope I will get a good knowledge on AI, which is an exciting and rapidly evolving field. And Yadasa says, I'm sure I'll be well equipped with all the necessary knowledge needed in AI. Um, I don't, we won't be able to manage that. I don't think anyone has all the knowledge, necessary knowledge needed in AI, but I think the necessary knowledge to get your first job uh, is what we're aiming for. But all of the necessary knowledge is, of course, um, that's a lifelong journey. Uh, Yehun, could you go ahead? I can hear you well, yeah. Thank you. Can you hear me? Okay, thank you. Uh, what I expect from this course is that just uh, we will delve into the broad world of uh, AI machine learning and just as it's trend technologies, so everything is just converting to uh, machine learning or AI technologies. It's just throughout all our life. So I might get a uh, good knowledge and hands on experience on projects and like uh, the current trending uh, so the tech so environment of the world. So I might get a good knowledge from this project. And thank you for just choosing me contributing this thank you. yeah i mean just just to say we it's not uh i think everyone who's here is based on the work that they've done it's there's no we haven't done anyone any favors if you're here it's because you performed well in the quiz you did the application and we will make uh the decisions for the next step purely on the basis of the work that's being done so um i think if there's anyone to thank you sh- you should all be thanking yourselves for putting the work in and uh, the people around you that enable you to get to this point. But just to make the point clear, the admissions will be based on uh, the work and the results, work done and the results shown. Uh, let's wrap up with Junior. Junior, go ahead. If you're speaking, we're not able to hear you. You may have a microphone issue, Junior. What about now? Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, can. yeah I can hear you now. Go ahead. Okay, what I expect from this uh, course or from this uh, chance uh, that provided by the Ten Academy is to gain the necessary skills and knowledge that will help me equip with the basic uh, skills of AI, which is uh, revolutionizing every aspect of our life. 
So the Ten Academy will give me the basic knowledge and skills that will that will help me to be a competent in the fintech industry. Yep, yeah, perfect. That's so we're aligned on why we're here. Um, okay, so are there any questions? If you have questions, you can drop them in the chat box. And uh, we'll do that for a couple of minutes, and then we will go to you know and now make the announcements again, and also walk people through the different teams that we have here. Salamut, go ahead. Salamut, do you have a question? No. Okay, you guys can also type your questions in the chat box, and I'll pick them up from there. I hope my accent is understandable. I hope it's not uh, not too difficult. Are there any questions from the from the group here? We have eighty people on the call. That's a good number. Any questions? Yehun, go ahead. Okay, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes. Yeah, very well. Okay. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Uh, my first one is it just our session is always an online session, or is there any in person sessions in the class? And my another question is so, uh, do we get any internships or any in person practice, or just always having a online class in this like assignment or any other? Just the education process is like always online, or is there any in person class? It's fully online, so we don't plan any in-person sessions. If if that changes, we'll be sure to let people know. But at present, we plan it to be fully online. Okay, uh, and I have uh, another question. So, after finishing this class or in the middle of this class, do we got a, do we have any chance for our internship or any company in networking system in for us in any other tech companies? So, I think there's two ways to look at that question. So, the very simple answer. Um, is that we don't, uh, no, we, internships are not, there's no internship component to the training. The other way to look at that, look at this, is that uh, if you were to join a company and get an internship, people want to join companies to get internships because they want experience. They want to be able to put something on their CV. What you'll be getting as part of the training that we're providing for those people who are selected is uh, 10 to 12 different projects and each one is something which simulates um, what industry is actually looking for. So many of our trainees or graduates view this training program actually as a three-month-long internship. Not a paid internship, but the it's a training slash internship. So I would encourage you to think of it in whichever way you think makes the most sense. But the way we've designed uh, all of the training content is to look at what industry is looking for and then to work backwards from there and to say this is um, something that industry is looking for and to walk you through um, to walk you through that and to uh, you will actually have that as part of your profile you for those of you who are able to complete this week successfully you will have the code you will have the support and you'll be able to not only put that on your CV and to demonstrate that um, to different employers as part of your uh, to them as part of your interview, but we have seen that that also helps people actually get those interviews. So I think those are two different ways to look at it. So just to summarize the answers to the questions, we don't currently have any in-person uh, training components that are planned, that's one. And the second is on the internship side, while we don't offer uh, internship opportunities with companies directly right now, we believe that the entire training is uh, comparable to the experience that you would get. Uh, and actually in many cases, you will get a lot more experience doing well in this training than you would doing a single internship with a single company. Okay, I hope that I... Yeah. Naoud asks, uh, is the course only focused on FinTech? Yeah, the exit point that we have here is uh, FinTech in Ethiopia. Uh, Daniel asks, please introduce uh, myself and my company. So my name is Arun Sharma. I'm uh, working on the careers and operations team at Ten Academy. I'm one of the co-founders of the organization. Uh, we are an organization, we're a not-for-profit uh, headquartered in the U.S. We also have, uh, our team is actually headquartered here in Addis Ababa, and we have people uh, in different countries, from Nigeria to Kenya. Myself, I'm based in Germany. Um, 
and we are focused on improving the employment of young people uh, in Africa, and our current major way to do that is through providing training in AI. Um, we've been operating since 2017. Uh, we've graduated uh, about 170 people from 19 different countries, and we're currently in the middle of uh, training. This year, we plan to train over 1,000 people from across Africa. Um, after the completion of the training, is there a fee or anything related to that? No. Nope. Uh, the course fees for this training are being provided by a donor, um, and that's we're providing this training on behalf of Kifia, and so there are no fees associated with this training. Uh, tell us more about the alumni and where they are currently. So it's it's difficult to compare our we've we're running a different a number of different programs, and to date we've been running what's called the intensive training, which is focused on placing people who already have a strong technical background and placing them into global level in the uh, um, Yeah, so for the intent, the it's difficult or not, uh, it's not a correct comparison to compare our intensive training graduates with uh, this program. This program is focused on people uh, who may not necessarily be, have a strong uh, technical or programming background, and the exit point here is very specifically fintech companies in Ethiopia. So we do have a, the 10 Academy Intensive Training alumni are working all over the world, but it's not a direct comparison. Uh, will the training include technical interview training and career training? Yes, we will be providing career training skills every week. Um, Tamir says, is there any option of the schedule? Because 10 or 10.30 is not appropriate to me. Not able to change the schedule, but we will be reporting the sessions and making them available. We would, uh, the entire 12 weeks, we will be having stand-ups at the same time. So if it's possible for you to change your other obligations, then we would encourage you to do them. Um, is there a certificate on completion? Yes, there will be a certificate that's provided uh, for those people who successfully complete the training. Um, CSA asks, is there any possibly a possibility to arrange the courses at night. Um, no, we're not able to do the training at night, but uh, we do organize things that it is possible to complete the course asynchronously. Um, it is not necessary to be present for every single session. Every single session will be uploaded. Um, Slack is available. You can catch up with what's being, with what's happening. So the asynchronous design of the course, meaning that you don't have to be present for every course at every single time, um, that's built into our course design. Kelsey writes, uh, I just, what do I do now? Do you have a plan for or opportunity for employment or further trainings? So Kelsey, our the program will be designed such that people who successfully complete the training will have, um, depending on how well they do, but let's say people who do well in this training should have the technical and career skills to be able to um, successfully, if they put the work in to apply for fintech AI jobs in Ethiopia, but I think it, it's imp really important to say that there is no training that leads directly to a job. There's a lot of work that's required in actually preparing yourself, applying for jobs, um, applying for many jobs before you get the interview, and then preparing yourself uh, to pass those interviews. And so um, that practice and that um, going through that, and I think there's there's a set of things that we can't provide you, and one of them is confidence. So when you go to an interview, if you're not confident in your own skills, um, that's not something that we can provide you. We can give you the technical skills, we can give you career skills, but uh, our roadmap for each of you would be uh, that you would be applying for jobs on your own. Um, we don't think, I mean, further trainings, opportunities for employment, that's something to discuss later, but we provide you with what we think is necessary in terms of the technical competencies and the career competencies, but it doesn't automatically lead uh, to a job. Salam asks, will the class be held at fixed times or we can take it at our convenience as long as we submit the assignments on time? Um, the assignments have to be submitted on time. There is no requirement for synchronous participation in the classes. That being said, if somebody is completely asynchronous, then they uh, may not get the same level of support from the tutoring team as uh, other trainees. What are the companies behind the program? So the com this training program is being uh, launched by Kifia. I think all of you are familiar with this 
organization. Uh, it's based in Addis. So this program is being put together with Kifia, uh, together with the partner banks. And we will be having a session at some point once the training actually starts, I'm sure, with an introduction from Kifia. Will we always have to be on Google Meet because the time is not convenient? Um, so I'm going to say it again. As you can attend as many sessions as possible. In an ideal world, you attend everything, but it's not required. Um, the recordings will be available, and our target is to record and upload within three hours. So it's not essential to be attend the sessions. However, um, I, th I, sh I would like everyone to reflect on why they're here. If you're here for a certificate, then of course you don't have to attend any session. You can just do the work. You can find a way around what it is that you were we're trying to assess you on, and I'm sure at the end you'll get your certificate. But making the time to actually be present during some of the sessions, uh, to be online when the tutoring team is online, to ask good questions, to understand what it is that we're trying to expose you to, um, will be not to our benefit. It'll be to your benefit. So if you've decided that you want to be prepared to be an AI engineer for the fintech sector uh, within three months, then my question back to you would be, how much time are you willing to invest? So I don't think of this as what's required and I want to do the minimum standard. But if you really want to be good, um, then how much time and effort are you willing to invest? And so for those of you who say that I can't be present on any sessions and I can never for the next 12 weeks be available, then I would uh, encourage you to think about uh, registering for the next session. Because I don't think you'll get uh, as much out of the time that you will invest as you could otherwise. You'll probably still get the certificate. But the certificate will not get you through an interview. The certificate will not help you become a good coder. It won't help you understand um, this very fascinating and actually quite complex domain of AI. So for all of you who are not available, uh, not able to be part of any of the synchronous sessions, um, then I would uh, encourage you to think about why you're here and, may, and consider registering for an, the next edition of the training. We will be having these trainings uh, every three months or every about four months for the next uh, at least two to three years. So there's no requirement to be to take this exact session. Are we going to have walkthroughs through the Notion, Slack, and 10x platforms? I think we're going to be having sessions on those AOP. If you have any questions, I think they're pretty explanatory. 10x will be definitely having walkthroughs. Uh, Slack is pretty straightforward. If somebody can't figure out Slack, um, I, to be honest, I think all of you who are here and passed the quiz you are able to figure out Slack, and the same is true of Notion. If you have questions, you can ask uh, in the Slack group. Uh, Hab Sahil asks, could you explain the structure of the training, its goals, and how it can benefit us beyond, beyond acquiring knowledge, and why we chose you, and why are you different from <laughs> AI training program? So I'm going to start right there. Uh, why do you, So if, if your question is why we chose you, uh, I can't tell you why you chose us. You're here for some reason. You must be here for some reason. So I don't know why you're here. Um, why are we different from other AI training programs? Um, I'm absolutely definitely not here to convince you to stay. Um, if you want to go and uh, train somewhere else, then I think there's a number of good programs that are out there. Um, I haven't attended them, but I've heard that there are good programs that are out there. What I can tell you is why we are here. We are here to improve uh, not only your employer your employability, but your employment. So we've designed the program to say that at the end of the three months, there are a set of careers and technical competencies that you will acquire. And the career and technical competencies that you will acquire have been carefully thought through. And they've been, we, we have a close connection with industry. So we understand what employers are looking for. And we've designed the, and we also understand what a typical um, young person in Ethiopia with some programming background, not necessarily that much, has in terms of careers and technical competencies. And our training is designed to bridge that gap so that at the end of the three months, you not only uh, have taken the courses and you've done exams, but you can demonstrate through the work that you've done and through hands-on programming, through hands-on learning, through hands-on reporting, that you have not only uh, had the certificate, but you can demonstrate the fact that you've acquired those competencies over the three months. So our approach is very much to prepare you for the world of work. And for those of you who get through the training program um, successfully, and of course, there'll be a range of uh, outcomes some people do 
okay, some people will just get by and some people do very well. But uh, the better you do, the more prepared you will be to take up employment very soon uh, after you graduate. Daniel asked, does the career support continue after graduation? We do have an alumni community. Um, this is the first time we're doing this new approach. So at present, we're not planning on, uh, we have to figure out how to manage that alumni community. Um, the training ends uh, at the training end date. So the career support uh, right now, we're not planning to extend that uh, beyond the graduation. Uh, have also asked, I'm just laughing because anonymous synonyms is posting in all capitals. When will the video be ready and where will it be posted? So the video is not even finished. So uh, I've said it a couple of times, uh, it'll take three hours. So it's now 10.30 East African time. So 10.30 plus three hours is 13.30. Um, just, just a tip for everyone who's here, um, let us treat this as a professional working environment. So when you normally type in all capitals and your name is uh, all in lowercase, it kind of comes across a little bit. Uh, it's a mix of very informal and also very formal or very um, demanding if you type in all capitals. Um, so Marta asks, are there sessions or tutorials specifically focused on the challenge of the projects? Yes, we'll have our first session today at 2.30 p.m. We'll also have a challenge introduction today at uh, noon, East African time. So every week, every day, you will have uh, usually two tutorial sessions. But the majority of the work is thinking through the challenge, reading it through, and trying to understand uh, what's being actually asked. Uh, have asked, are there specific projects or case studies that participants will work on as part of the training? Yes, every week you will get a project, and uh, that project will be a simulation of something that you will get in industry. Gacha, Gatu. Gatu, do you have a question? You have your hand up. Gatu, do you have a question? No? OK. Abraham asks, is the course about developing AI or using AI? Uh, maybe you can explain your question a little bit more in more detail, Abraham. Uh, explain further on the schedule. Uh, Yihun asks, so what, what's the minimum requirement, Yihun, is that you hand in your assignments on time. Now, if you're not able to, and the rest of it is, we would like you to attend as much as possible. I don't know if that answers your question. If you're able to attend a tutorial, it's to your advantage because then you can ask a question. If you're not attending the tutorial, but you're asking, if you're watching the video, you lose the ability to interact with the tutor or with the, to ask questions, to say, okay, I had this issue, can you walk me through this use case? Um, it just slows things down. So it is flexible, but we encourage you to attend as much as possible of it in a synchronous way. Yeah. So any other last questions? While people are queuing up the last questions, I'm just going to run through the assignments again. Um, the schedule has been posted. You can look um, You can look on the broadcast channel, which is the right place where we will be posting announcements. Science. Yeah, so the schedule has been posted. The challenge document has also been posted in the broadcast channel. Um, we will have submissions and submissions every day. Um, the last submission is on Thursday. You'll be finding out by Saturday whether uh, you've been admitted to the program or not. And the program starts on uh, Monday the 28th of April. I believe, yeah, Monday the 28th of April, so this coming Monday. Um, we have uh, a couple of different members of the team. And so these are the people that you can reach out to for any questions. Um, and so we have the, the tutoring team. And we have three tutors. We have Natnael Malese, we have Ayaya, we have Kerod, and we have Rediet. So those are the technical tutors. If you have any questions, you can ask them. You can always tag them on spot. We have the careers team. We have uh, Margaret as well as Emilien. So you can always ask them for any questions that you have, uh, including careers and also community sessions. And then if there's any uh, overall questions, organizational questions, you can reach out to Makita. So they're all on Slack. I'm also there. Um, I don't have a formal hands-on role. Uh, Yababel, the same thing. He's also on Slack. Um, but that's that's the direct team that's there. Um, last two questions that I'm going to cover. Uh, Abraham asked, is the course making you an AI developer or an AI-based developer? Um, we are not 
we're not aiming to make you a consumer of tools like GitHub Copilot. You should be able to implement your own projects using AI. So we want you to be an engineer who can work for a bank and implement, uh, implement a system as a machine learning engineer or a data engineer or a generative AI engineer. Now, we're sure that you'll be using tools like Copilot to do that, but we want you to understand um, how these tools work and how things put together. So we want you to be a engineer. So I, I would, the term AI developer, I don't understand, but I do understand the term machine learning engineer, data engineer, or generative AI engineer. So we want you to be able to actually write code and understand some of the fundamentals of how these systems work. Kelsey, we do have a policy on your own work. Um, you are allowed to use generative AI, but we want to make sure that everything that you do, you understand how it works. So we'll be sharing the code of conduct, and we do have our policy on own work. Raf asks, how can I, you get in touch with us, guys? Well, Slack is the right place to do that. You, for this week, you should be using the week zero channel on Slack. If you want to have a question, use the week zero channel on Slack. Please do not use broadcast. Um, you can use uh, community building, random, but the week zero channel is your main place to ask. Can you tell us a little bit about the trainers? Um, well, I'm not sure what you'd like to know. Uh, there are people that we've graduated through the intensive training program. Um, there are people that have a variety of experience in the field of AI. Uh, that's true of the technical trainers. Um, the course instructor, his name is uh, Yebavel, so he's a physicist or an astrophysicist. He's based here in Addis as well. Um, so he's been working for many years in the field of data science, um, also in fintech and in advertising. And so he's uh, putting, I'd say he's the lead instructor, you can say. So Abraham says, will you provide us job posts related to our skills? Um, I, so your question is a little bit poorly structured to me. Are, are you asking if we will recommend jobs to you or are we going to connect you to jobs? We're not able to connect you with jobs. We may be able... We're working on an auto-matching system where we can recommend some jobs that are available. But uh, yeah, that's, that's still a work in progress. So just to be clear, we are providing training that will get you job ready, but we do not have a pool of jobs that we will be assigning you to yet. As the program evolves uh, and through the, some of the connections that Kitia has, um, that's to be determined whether that would be possible. Jerusalem, we're not able to do weekend sessions or night sessions. We understand you may have class. Uh, we will be recording the sessions, but we're not able to do weekend or night sessions. Uh, Gasho asks, after the completion of the training, what rewards will you get? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm going to let you answer that question yourself, or maybe somebody from the community can answer that question. I would encourage you to think carefully about uh, that, because it should be very obvious. If you don't know why you're here, I can't answer that question for you. Uh, and so the last question about me, my work experience, companies you work for, do I like long walks on the beach? Which type of shiro do I like and which type of injera? Let's, um, let's leave that for another time because I'm happy to introduce myself, but we're already a little bit over time. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think we've... So now it asks a question, is it the same with 10 Academy intensive training? No. We're not expecting you to spend intensive training has a different job outcome in mind. The training is also double the length, and we're preparing you for a different type of training. So that what we're expecting you to spend here is about 40 hours a week, whereas with intensive training, it's 60 hours plus. Um, yeah, and the training is a little bit shorter, and there's a different job outcome in mind. If you have any other questions for everyone that's here, you can always ask in the Week Zero channel or the General channel. The challenge introduction is going to be starting in uh, 75 minutes, and the links will be shared in the broadcast channel. Just as a recap, this is the last phase of the assessment process. The training will be starting. Uh, last submission is on Thursday. We'll be making decisions on Saturday, and training starts on Monday. Um, and the last point that I wanted to make is the number one reason why people aren't accepted to the program is simply because they don't submit. So even if you don't know exactly what to do. And if you look at the challenge document, which has been shared, it makes it very clear. Um, there's a lot there. It'll be difficult for some people. Please, 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 if you're interested in continuing, do submit, even if it's not perfect. So with that, I'm going to stop recording. And uh, welcome. Welcome to week zero.